In this video, I'm going to do a virtual color analysis of the woman on the screen. I previously saw uh, her being color analyzed on another YouTube channel and my virtual color analysis result for her was uh, different and I wanted to showcase uh, to you my virtual color analysis process on her because I think it's a great uh, case study to show you that uh, color analysis results, uh, if done correctly, the first time don't change in your lifetime uh, via seasonal color analysis. Uh, this person had been analyzed uh, previously in her uh, earlier years. It, I also think this is a great case study to showcase that Seasonal color analysis, anyone trained in seasonal color analysis through accredited training uh, would be trained on the internal biology components and that how that uh, showcases in your uh, external coloring. And so uh, the fact that this person has smoky hair and perhaps smoky eyes is irrelevant uh, to uh, this person's seasonal color analysis. And uh, I, I think it's a great case study to show you why. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Carol Braley of carolbraley.com and virtualcoloranalysis.com. As the opening said, I'm going to be doing a virtual color analysis following my process on uh, the woman on your screen. Uh, she had previously uh, been color analyzed by me, I'm going to say a couple years ago now, uh, but I saw a video of her on YouTube recently being color analyzed by a color an analyst, another one, and uh, using a different process. And I thought it would be great to show you uh, my process. So, um, uh, so here is uh, a current picture uh, that she had supplied at the time uh, with her smoky, uh, close to natural uh, gray hair. I, I think there might be a rinse in it, but that that's irrelevant uh, for this analysis. And, um, you know, she's got a smoky blue eye color. And I've said in at least one of my videos that I never refer to eye color in a seasonal color analysis because I've seen uh, all the eye colors in every color palette. So to me, that is irrelevant in, in analyzing somebody. But I do take in about her skin is that, you know, it's got this sort of yellow golden buttermilky, for lack of better words, qualities to it. Uh, and, and so I don't look at her and see smoky, cool skin. I, I see translucent, uh, clear and warm skin. Uh, but ultimately, the color comparisons will confirm that or not. Um, but without further ado, let's jump in. Uh, so first thing I do is look at somebody's eyes. And, uh, you know, do I see obvious autumn in here? No. Do I see obvious winter in here? No. Um, you know, so I'd leave, you know, spring on the table and summer on the table uh, in my eye pattern hypothesis. But again, it's truly um, everything put together that I look at about somebody's coloring in a color analysis. So I would never rule out a uh, season by looking at somebody's eye. It purely is a hypothesis that, uh, you know, can give me further detail to help with the analysis and, and fitting the puzzle pieces together. Um, this particular person didn't have um, pictures from her earlier years uh, to supply, but she was able to share with me that uh, when she was around the age of 20, her natural hair color was an iced tea color. Um, and that was uh, provided uh, to her informationally by her hairstylist. And, and so what I will say is that hairstylists who... Uh, you know, work with clients and, and hair colors, uh, generally know uh, how to characterize uh, different colors of hair on uh, people. And so, and so the fact that a hairstylist was able to confirm for her that her uh, hair color naturally was an iced tea color is helpful uh, to this uh, because, you know, I would say an iced tea hair color has warm qualities to it. Um, and, and so that is helpful. An iced tea hair color is not 
not smoky, uh, is not, you know, it's got golden red qualities that makes me think perhaps she leans warm. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, as this video progresses if uh, the warm plays out in the color comparisons. We'll also say that her looking at her skin, her, her skin appears uh, quite... Um, bright which is common in springs and and so you know I, I just take that in I will also say at this point that she did go through uh, you know an analysis in her earlier years and she was uh, categorized as a true spring uh, by uh, a, a color analysis professional who had looked at her in person um, so now let's jump in uh, and uh, look at the color comparison so here I have stripped out her her, uh, her ashy uh, or smoky hair color. Um, and I've decided to put the hair color back in, in in future slides. But in looking at this, so cool gray versus warm brown, the warm brown is definitely most in harmony with her. Uh, the cool gray is distracting. It's overwhelming her. Uh, you know, she's more brighter uh, with that warm brown. Uh, here is a look with her hair color uh, put in the mix, her current hair color. And, and I still see the warm brown uh, adding most harmony with her look at her jawline as well on the cool side uh, it's not as lifted and refined as it is on uh, the warm side here is a cool red versus a warm red uh, so cool red being on the left warm red on the right uh, that warm red it she's so much more brighter with that warm red and at this point I will say in that other video produced by the other color analyst they put uh, this particular uh, woman at a cool uh, on the cool side and and I do not agree uh, uh, and and that also is in harmony with how she was analyzed in her earlier years um, so uh, moving along here is a cool blue versus a warm green uh, that blue is distracting on her uh, you know while you may think it goes with her eyes it is overwhelming to her skin um, the warm green on the right there is in harmony uh, and is better harmony than the blue because it's aligned uh, better with her skin, her eyes, and I don't see it distracting from her hair. And then, you know, if we were to refine value intense and intensity even further here, so here on the left is cool, soft, and a light color. And then on the right is warm, bright, and uh, a light color that warm bright and light on on the right there is better than the soft and cool on the left so this is a summer blue on the left a spring blue on the right that spring blue is so much more better she's brighter uh, the smoky blue on the left is distracting from her and then here is a summer pink versus a spring peach. That spring peach, she's so much more brighter. That, that smoky pink on the left, which is cool, is is distracting and out of harmony. And, and so uh, this person does lean uh, warm is through my uh, analysis. And then if we go through the next step of color analysis, which is uh, analyzing the warm primary seasons uh, on the left here, is uh, autumn uh, orange versus a spring peach on the right that autumn orange is too heavy and overwhelming on her the spring peach is just softer and and much more in harmony with her and then one more of autumn versus spring on the left here is an autumn mustard and on the right is a spring yellow <laughs> there's nothing to talk about here that autumn mustard is very out of harmony with her and plus I'll just add here that there was no uh, autumn um, attributes to her coloring uh, at all as well and and so uh, I did land at her being a true spring uh, and and her skin characteristics are in harmony with that from what I have been uh, trained on and experienced on uh, in seasonal color analysis uh, she's got very bright qualities to her skin naturally uh, you know it, it's it's got golden qualities in in my opinion her 
natural hair color around the age of 20 had warm qualities. Uh, so, you know, it's all holding together. And, you know, the fact that her eye color is smoky is irrelevant. I've seen, again, a smoky eyes in every palette. Uh, so uh, I would not rely on eye color as a determinant for color palettes. Uh, and, you know, in the previous slides, the fact that, you know, we had the smoky peach, for instance, uh, not sorry, not smoky peach, uh, the fact that we had a warm peach against her, uh, the warm and uh, true spring colors on this particular person, you know, didn't take away from our eye color, that eye color still had sparkle. And so color analysis, seasonal color analysis about adding, you know, brightness to your skin, sparkle to your eyes, it, it all being on harmony. It isn't just about eye color. And and so, uh, you know, that's something just to be aware of. And and so uh, in my analysis, I definitely uh, leaned uh, or definitely arrived, sorry, at this person being a true spring, which is in harmony with what she was analyzed to be in her earlier years. And on your screen right now, I have cool, soft, and medium to light colors on the left, and then the true spring colors, which are warm, light, and bright colors, and wow, <laughs> she's so much brighter on the right, and I've done nothing to the coloring on her face in these photos. Uh, all that's different is that the the colors behind her uh, are different. And and so the colors on the left here are, you know, dulling her face. You know, at this point too, when we're at the last step of color analysis, I'm looking for wows. I'm looking for, you know, brightness and, and wow. Uh, and, and what I'm seeing on the left here is not a wow. The colors on the right are the wow. And, and so I arrived at this person being uh, warm uh, undertone, true spring. Hopefully uh, this helps you and have a great day.